Well, it's very apparent to me that Christy's lungs were less affected by the virus than mine. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This first half mile is rough for me. But we have a mission and we're gonna try our best to accomplish it. So we can go find this mine, fly the drone, maybe even hike to the top of a peak. Maybe. Take a night and nice view. Maybe a little picnic. Shoot. It's gonna be great. That car back there had ice on the window. Hey, we just found it. I just turned around and bam, there it is. We made it uh, to the trailhead at the top of Mill Creek Canyon near Salt Lake City. And uh, this is our uh, first hike since beating COVID. So this is kind of a training run for us. We live at 4,500 feet above sea level. We're at about 7,700 feet right now. And uh, how many times your ears pop getting here? Pressure differential in your ear. I think I popped mine five or six times. Yeah. But anyway, uh, it's a little colder than we thought it was going to be. It's 36 degrees and it's mm -hmm. uh, a little breezy too. 7 30 in the morning. So a little breeze to go with that. You can oh. definitely see your breath. We're going to go on a little hike and see how our lungs do. See how. Uh, our endurance handles this little training hike. So well, there's a little mine up here that we tried to find last time we did this last year and couldn't find it. So I got a better lead on it this time. So hopefully we can find it. So all right, here we go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to walk fast to stay warm. All right, there's a little water trail. <laughs> Dogs must be on leash all times. Pick up your dog crap. Looks like the flowers are still in bloom, huh? I can feel the, uh, the strain on my lungs. Holy cow. Well, it's very apparent to me that Christy's lungs were less affected by the virus than mine. Mine is really cold. Because She's leaving. <coughs> She's leaving me in the dust, and we're not going that fast. I'm just freezing. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Boy, it's harder for me to catch my breath. Yes, the leaves are starting to change color early this year because of the drought. Look how pretty that is. Look at this. There's even a. Uh, 
a little patch of yellow on the aspen starting to change. <coughs> oh, sorry. Let's see. There's a hill. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This first half mile is rough for me. I'm getting my lungs cleared out. I'm starting to feel better already, so. I'll oh, see how it goes. I can in here, look at that. The sun's starting to come up. These wildflowers are popping. Mm -hmm. So pretty with the yellows. Mm -hmm. There's my flower. It's the time of year the rose hips are all ready for harvesting. Now the second half mile was better than the first. That first one was rough for me. A little mushroom. Wow, look at those mushrooms. They're really big. There's another one right there. You can see how big they are. Look at how big that is. That is huge. I don't know what it is. Edible or not. I'll never know because I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> All right, we've gone 1.4 miles. <laughs> Gained about a almost a thousand foot elevation gain yeah. first half mile was a rough on me i was struggling bad with this covid lung yeah. but uh this last mile wasn't so bad i mean i'm getting i'm feeling better so christy she's just trucking on up there like mm. she, nothing ever happened <laughs> she spit covert uh, covid out to the curb before she even started this hike <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it's no joke, man. My lungs are feeling it. Oh, when I said we gained about a thousand feet, yeah. it's uh, we're at 8,370 feet. Uh, must be the nights are getting colder because look at all that frost on the grass. It's so cold. You know, it's 36 degrees when we started this hike. Mm -hmm. We're starting to finally top out on some kind of a like a little ridge line or something here. I don't know what we'll see. Hopefully it'll be awesome. All right, according to the map, we're getting close to our first destination. Is Dog Lake. All right, we made it. Dog Lake. It's not much of a lake. It's just a dog pond. Should be a better name for it. Well, Christy's happy now we found the sunshine. <laughs> oh, my pants can thaw out now. <laughs> We're hanging out frozen. here by Dog Lake. 2.33 miles according to the Garmin, it's which is good. usually overestimates a little bit. So. Agreed. My watch says 2.08. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I didn't die yet. And what are we at, about 9,000 feet? Oh, I have no idea. I'll check that here. All right, so Dog Lake is 8760 on elevation, so 1300 feet elevation gain from the truck. Feels like it. Yeah, my lungs felt it. <laughs> I'm breathing good now though, so that's good. I'll check out that dragonfly right in front of me. Oh, that's so cool. That is awesome. All right, well, there's Dog Lake. There's a few people here when we got here, but we'll have it to ourselves for a minute. So what Christy doesn't know, what? you're hiking with an Old West legend, Doc Holliday the Lunger. <laughs> <laughs> Those uphills are getting me good. But I gotta get over this sickness somehow. Nothing better than the warm sunshine on a cool day. Yeah. That's just like my favorite thing. How about we're in the upper 40s already? Oh, uh, maybe. But I don't oh. think so. <laughs> <laughs>
She's soaking in the rays. <laughs> she loves that sun up there on a cold, brisk morning. All right, this is where we're kind of going off trail bushwhacking to try to find this mine. Trying to find the best route without having to get too banged up in the bushes. I know from the map that over here somewhere is where we need to be. I mean, this isn't the worst bushwhack I've ever done. It's not too bad. <clears throat> thought Christy will be the first to tell you this is one of her least favorite things to do <clears throat> yep high on the list it's pretty high, high on the high list, list. <laughs> alright I think I undershot the, the mine by a little bit so we're climbing up this ridge line where I can see a tailings pile on the map. So we're gonna shoot to that first. And if it's not it, I'm gonna throw the drone up and take a look around this area. I'm determined to find that thing. Whew, look at that view. Well, what do you think about the views? Beautiful up here. Heck yeah. Huh. Hey, we just found it. I just turned around and bam, there it is. I see it. No more bushwhacking. Yay! Come on, give me a high five. Oh, that was an air five. But anyway, I can see it. Right where my finger is. Right there is the old mine. We're gonna go check it out. Who would mine up here? I don't know. I don't know what kind of mine it is or anything, but I know we found it. That's, that's a victory right there. <clears throat> I'm stoked. Heck yeah, I can see it. I went to this before, I must have like blocked it out. Okay, there's the tailings. There's a fire pit. And, boy, did it all cave in? What the heck? Well, I know there was more than one mine. <coughs> see if I can see any remnants. See, there's some ore from what they were digging out of the mountain. No way, this is it because here's the old, uh, I remember this. This is um, the old cast iron stove that was in an old log cabin that was right here. Yeah, there's the remnants of the stove right there. Yeah, so they had an old cast iron stove. See that? Yeah, that's what... Huh. Well... Yeah. Huh. Well, Alright, cool. Yeah, there's more of it right here. Well, boy, I wonder if the years have just maybe caved that thing in. I don't know. Huh. Amazing what 30, 30 plus years will do. Huh. That'd be cool to get up here with a metal detector. Well, 
Let's explore around here for just a minute before we head out. Hmm? <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's for sure. Part of the, uh, there used to be a log cabin that sat right here. What? Yeah. I'm just trying to find remnants of the walls. And that uh, old cabin that was here, 30 years of rotten wood, it's all back to forest as well. Yeah, here we go. That is wood, not from here. This has been milled from a lumber mill. That's a board, not a stick in the woods. Check that out, even an old, old piece of a shovel. <laughs> yeah, I'm certain this is the place. Oh, there's a, there's the cut log. Yeah, this is a cabin. There's the cut logs from the doorway of the cabin right here. Probably use it for firewood. Look at this. Huh. Yeah, so there's the cut logs for the doorway of the cabin that was here. And look, there's even uh, an old spike to, yep. that they used to nail it all together. Hmm. Yeah, so this is the cabin. There's the stove that was in it. There's a shovel. There's the logs of the log cabin right there. And then here's more pieces of the stove and stuff. That was here. Yeah. There's even more right here. Yeah. 30 years of the mountain taking taking back what it's yeah look at that oh look at that it's even carved out for the other cross member log right there mm -hmm. <laughs> heck yeah oh and another spike through it too check that out right on well Christy's not as excited as I am but I'm pretty stoked that I found this place after 30 years so that's really cool mm -hmm. to see these, the old cornerstone of the, uh, here's the nail too. oh yeah, it's a nail up in the tree, <coughs> but the old cornerstone of the uh, cabin that was here, and the nails, and then the old stove, <laughs> yeah. pretty cool. Here's another cut end of a log over here on the other side of the cabin. So this must have been the other corner over here. Huh. I'm looking at these uh, carvings in the tree from October 77. I'm wondering if, <coughs> I want to say that I was maybe back in the day put my own carving in the tree. It would have been in the 80, 87, 88-ish time. There's some more carvings. And maybe my carving's on a tree that since fell down. Maybe yours is on a tree that got cut down, right? Yeah. Huh. And here's the ore. I don't know what kind of ore they were mining, but that's what was coming out of the hill there. There's some more of it. But there were old rail, uh, railroad rails. Railroad ties? No, the, the actual metal rails came out on this tailings hill. Huh. <clears throat> out of the mine. Did you see any rails or metal or anything? Huh. This is a pretty good tailing right here. But yeah, this looks like this was the mine right here. I'm walking on the 
the roof of the mine that has since collapsed. Because that was the mine right here. Now it's all caved in. And here's some more metal. Oh, some kind of a hook with a piece of metal on it. Huh. That's pretty cool. Yep, I do remember the view. Beautiful. We're going to send the drone up and take a better look. Okay, I remember these markings on the tree right here as being the marker for the trail that cuts off up into there to the mine. So, when I saw that writing on the tree earlier, I thought this has got to be it. And, uh, pretty certain it is now because I just came back from the mine. That was a success story. Hmm. Huh. Cleaned out my lungs, made it to Dog Lake, and found the mine. Sweet. I have to say a personal thank you to Christy for allowing a bushwhacking adventure to happen today. <laughs> awesome. It's almost full, but still, for being Labor Day weekend, Saturday, not too bad. Anyway, yeah, well, that's a wrap. About six miles round trip. First mile was a little tough for both of us, Christy, because it was cold, and mm. me because my lungs weren't up to capacity yet. But we suffered through it and made it, and saw some. <laughs> Saw some good views and found our mine. And anyway, it's a good little trip. Nice. Leaves are starting to change a little bit. We got some good pictures. Of... In a couple of weeks, it'll be really pretty up here. Yeah, so it's awesome. Awesome trip.